news is happening now. Breaking news just into the newsroom. Remains of a child have been found in Rush Springs. At this time, though, Zach, state agents say they cannot confirm that these are the remains of four-year-old Athena Brownfield, who has been reported missing since a, a week ago. We have new court documents that say she was alleging that she was murdered on Christmas Day. Athena's two caregivers are both charged in this case. And Zach, in these new court documents that we have today, they allege that one of the suspects confessed uh, that her, her husband buried this young child in rural Rush Springs. Yeah, that's right. Obviously, this search has been going on for nearly a week now as the search has been uh, happening there in the town of Surreal and now extending to the Rush Springs area. As you mentioned, Abby, those new court documents suggest that the main suspect here, Ivan Adams, one of the caregivers here of that poor little girl there, had uh, confessed to his wife that he buried that uh, that child there in a Red Rush Springs near the fence line of what appeared to be maybe their old home. He apparently said in those court documents that he placed a large broken branch over that burial site. Now, right now, we have multiple crews headed mm -hmm. to that area. We have Sky 5 pilot Chase Rutledge there, and we also have our reporter Jason Berger heading to that scene right now to give us the uh, very latest information on what he's seeing there on the ground. So just to, to recap, it was about a week ago that this young child, four-year-old Athena Brownfield, was first reported missing out of Surreal, Oklahoma. That is southwest of the Oklahoma City metro. Since then, we have learned that her two caregivers, Alicia Allen, Adams and Ivan Adams, she is related to Alicia Adams, investigators say, have been charged. Alicia charged with child neglect. Ivan Adams charged with murder. And we do have new court documents today detailing the, the alleged crime and the, the details are, are horrific. But in these documents that we got today, he allegedly told his wife that he buried Athena's body in Rush Springs along a fence line, possibly on some property that they used to own. And like Zach mentioned, placed some type of branch over Athena's body. This was back on Christmas. So right. this young child has not been seen for weeks. And again, the, the update here that we just got in from OSBI, our state agents, that the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation has recovered the remains of a child in rural Grady County, just outside of Rush Springs. At this time, the OSBI cannot confirm that the remains are of Athena Brownfield. They will be taken to the medical examiner's office here in Oklahoma City for positive identification. But if this child child has been has been missing and presumed not alive for that long, then those remains will have to be positively identified by a medical examiner expert. That's right. And they're focusing on Rush Springs, not only because of that uh, apparent confession from Ivan, but also from the court documents that we obtained today. Apparently records from his phone show that Ivan traveled from their home in Surreal between 4 a.m. and possibly 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And they showed the That's phone right. records that he was in the Rush Springs area on December 26th, the day after Christmas, the day before the alleged abuse and apparent murder yeah. of that little girl took place. So we wanted to cut in to bring you guys the latest that remains have been found, again, not identified yet, but remains have been found in rural Grady County. We have several crews on this. There was also a, a fresh court appearance this morning for one of these suspects. So KOCO 5 News has you covered on this story that the entire state